I'm Dr. Sadi, and today we're talking about seeds. This lesson actually comes from one of the first science lessons I ever remember from my kindergarten class. So, Ms. Lepardo, if you're watching, thanks. Have you ever picked up a dandelion flower, the little flower with little yellow petals all around? And then, have you ever seen the same kind of flower start to change over the course of the season, turn into the big white puff with lots of little seeds that spread when you blow on them? And have you ever wondered why this happens? Many plants need their seeds to spread far away so they can make new plants. A lot of seeds are designed to do this. And there are a couple of really clever ways that plants can do that. One example is the dandelion that, that I mentioned. If you blow on it, you see that the seeds can spread pretty far away. Well, imagine if instead of a person picking it up, the wind picks it up instead. The seeds can travel quite far away, which means that dandelions can grow quite far away from where they started. Other methods include sticking to your clothes or animal fur so that the animal can carry it far away. Other seeds need to be eaten by animals so that the animals can carry them far away in a different way. What you're going to get to do today, or tomorrow if your weather looks a lot like ours today, is to go around and look at the different types of seeds in your neighborhood. What ways do the seeds in your neighborhood have of traveling so that they can disperse far away to grow new plants? One way you can do this is by learning about all the different ways seeds travel and then going for a walk and find as many different types of those seeds as you can. Another way you can do it is to go for a walk first, collect all different types of seeds, and then see if you can separate them into different piles based on the way that they travel. Either way, this is a fun opportunity to learn a little bit about the different plants that grow in your own neighborhood.